Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Sean from Long Island Audits. Yes, this freaking idiot again. He just never learns, does he? As he gets educated by the cops in a courthouse that he attempts to audit. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, guys, so we just passed through the metal detector, which is over here to our right. Let's take a look around. Some public notices over here. Distracted driving. Hey, there's no phone in here, okay? Put that down. Put hey, that down. Whoa, whoa, back away from me, man. Put that down. What are you doing? Let's go. Back, back away. The back away. This is not a, I'm, not in a, I'm not in a courtroom. I'm not in the courtroom. Who are you? Why are you coming up behind me like that? What's wrong with this guy? Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a snowflake alert. We got a snowflake alert. Red alert. We got a snowflake. He didn't even touch you, man. Not even close. Yeah, why, why, why are you coming up on me like that, man? Well, I'm not in any courtroom or I'm not in a courtroom or anything. I'm not in a restricted area. This is a public area. But this is a public area. I'm not. Yes, I'm in a public area. This is a public area. There's no filming in the area. Let's go. Yeah, there's no reason for you to get. Listen, are you security guard or law enforcement? Are you security guard or law enforcement, sir? Can I get your name? Badge number one one seven. Hey, how you doing? Are you a supervisor here? Yes. Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures and video. I'm a journalist. Sure, come on over this way. I'm going to show you the sign. Yeah, well, let me see the sign. Sure, no problem. So you probably, I'm going to ask you to nicely to please shut this off and then read the sign and then determine how you want to proceed. So what rules of the chief judge? Are you law enforcement? Step back. Yeah, I so mean, like, there's no reason so, for five, so five security read guards. read the sign and then stop recording. Are you law enforcement, sir? Yes. You're law enforcement? I'm going to ask you to read the sign. Are you public safety? And I'm going to ask you to read the sign. And Rules sign of the record. chief judge. Electronic recording and audiovisual coverage in court facilities, court proceedings. Yeah, of court proceedings. You know, as many videos as I've covered you so far, I have found that you have a selective reading skill. Or cherry picking or or what is called in the academic field, quote mining, where you find a particular piece of a quote that you think supports your argument, but does nothing to support it, especially when read with the much greater context involved, thus why it's called quote mining. Whether or not the court is in session is written. Where is the actual order? This is just the sign. Where is like an order from the that judge? Is the order. From the chief judge, right there. Yeah, the chief judge of where? So, so once again, you're in a courthouse. Yeah. You've read the sign. You've seen no video, no photographers, no recording. What's the law, you've written, though? You've written it. I mean, you might want to take a look at this because this is criminal contempt. Yeah. You continue and. You know, I don't want to see that happen. You don't have law. You don't have arrest capabilities. You're security um, well, guard. Well, if I do or don't. I can call a uh, police officer and a deputy sheriff if you'd like me to. What can I do to assist you? I mean, you, you could definitely call law enforcement. I, w I would love for you to call law okay. enforcement because I would like for you to get educated. This is not a law. I these are that. These are policies, sir. Can I get your name? Sure, Captain Wright. Captain Wright? Ray. Captain Ray. Yes. Yeah, these are policies. And okay. this this officer here tried to come, come at me from behind and put his hands on me. He tried to put his hands on you? Yeah, he tried. I had to back up and, and put my hand to block so, him. So anyway, how can security I help you officers that? Security officers and public so safety... how can I help you Security that? officers and public safety like yourself are here to observe and report, sir. I don't know where you keep coming up with that BS, but obviously you have never visited a career fair or a career website because the observed duties of a security guard are far more complex than you're letting on. They're not here to put. You're not here to put your hands on anybody, man. That's not. That's so, not okay. So what can I do to help you today? That's not okay. You're. You're. You're public so what safety. What can I do to help you today? I'm not. A, I'm not a danger of the public stuff. safety. Yes, I am recording. So I'm a journalist. I have a First okay. Amendment right to record yes, in publicly yes, accessible areas. Okay, I'm gathering content. 
the signs are very clear. I'm not in a court room. Do you have business here today? I'm not in a court room. Yes, I do. Well, it says if you actually read the sign, office or hallway. <laughs> Look at that. The security guard has better reading skills than you has taken it upon himself to be his, your teacher. Way to go. Way to go. Yeah. So I'm going to ask So where's you, the courtroom? So I'm going to ask you Where is the courtroom? Is this the hallway of so a courtroom? Nicely. You've read the signs. But if you want to get technical with the signs. How you doing, sir? Uh you law enforcement officer? Yes, I am. Suffolk County uh deputy sheriff. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Anthony Ireland, 579. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm just a First Amendment, you know, yeah, yeah. Are you I'm a First Amendment advocate. I'm a uh -huh. journalist. I'm not in, this is, there's no okay. courtrooms around here where I'm at. These are publicly accessible areas. Mm -hmm. I'm just working on a story, gathering content for a story. Okay. Peacefully, I'm not bothering anybody, and they're, they're making a big deal about it. What are you, what are you trying to accomplish? I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to accomplish exercising my rights without having being told to stop. That's mm -hmm. what, that's really what I'm trying to accomplish. I mean, I mean, we could, yeah, we could talk, but I don't want to talk out there unless you're going to. No, I'm just recording all the signage here and all the public documents that are inside. Okay. Yeah, so I'm an independent journalist, like I told you. I'm just working on a story on the. I'm not anywhere near. It's it's a story on the the traffic violations bureau, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near any courtrooms. Nowhere near courtroom. No, uh, not even in them. This is, I, I showed, the, I showed I, this I gentleman all yeah. the signs and asked right. him to read it. Yeah, but these aren't the law. These aren't the law, though. These aren't the law, sir. These are signs. These are policies. These policies of what the building is asking you about. Yeah, they're policies. I have a right. This is a public building. I have the right to be in this public building. And just because exactly. I'm recording shouldn't restrict my access to the public building. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not interrupting any courtrooms. I'm not doing anything of that nature. I'm not causing a disturbance. If anything, that security guard over there, while I was filming these signs over here, he tried to run up on me and grab me from behind. You are such a snowflake, dude. Any amount of touching, no matter how little or how close in this case, is the a violation of your personal space. And I had to like put my hand out to stop him. Who's this? The guy right behind you, right by the computer screen over there. It was uncalled for. I'm, I'm a reasonable guy. I'm not trying to break the law. No, I'm not I'm breaking the law. Are. I'm just saying. I'm There's, not breaking the law. They have to sign up here for a reason. I understand. That's... It's a policy. But they also, sir, yeah. deputy, they also had signs once upon a time that said people of a certain skin color couldn't come into an establishment, correct? Oh, don't you go there. Don't you even think about going there. You dare compare the plight of African Americans in the Jim Crow era to this? You are out of your damn mind! Did the, were, were those signs acceptable? Okay. Just because it's on a Mike, sign. Can we talk over here? So I, I'd rather. Over here? I, I, I'll get out the way. We can come over we'll come here. Over here. Just follow me over here. We can come over here. Alright, right. So, what are you trying to do? Do we sign just record? In I'm just recording in publicly accessible areas. That's all okay. I'm doing. And if you if you if you are going to violate my rights in any way, you let me know that, and I'll take it up with the proper I'll take it up with the proper venue. If you're going to arrest me for any reason, I, didn't say I, was arrest you. I, I would hope not. I'm not breaking <laughs> the law. <laughs> so I'm just trying to talk to you, but I'd rather talk to you over there. All right, but I I don't want to go over there, so I want to stay right. where I'm at. I would, I, this is a public building. I'd rather stay where I'm at, sir. Excuse me. Right. I'm not so running away from you. Who do you work for? I'm independent. I work for myself, sir. You're independent, you work for yourself. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. You can, I've had a bunch of, you know, I, I've, I've gone through this before with, you know, Suffolk County Police Department. You can call and check with them, even your own agency, sir. I'm sure they know who I am. They know I'm an independent journalist. They know I'm not here with any nefarious, I'm not here with any nefarious purposes or anything. I'm just here to document all the signs in the publicly accessible areas. I don't want to go near courtrooms. I or, that, but the signs are clearly saying no video, no photographs, no recordings. I understand so, the signs. I don't get what you're trying to do. But they're not law. That's my whole purpose. The, the, so I don't have any weapons. I obviously cleared through the metal detector, okay. right? Yeah. So I'm not a threat to anybody. I don't understand what's the big deal about a camera. I get what you're saying, the signs. Yeah. But there could be, like I told you, there could be so, any sign. So, you could put up a sign anywhere. I could put up a sign, and what does that mean? What what law? You are law enforcement. Well, what are you trying to accomplish? Like, I told you, Gav. Recording this whole building. 
I told you I'm working on a story on this building. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. On a story. Yeah. What's the story? I'm gathering public information on the Traffic Violations Bureau. Okay. Well, clearly you're not allowed to record here. It's based on the signs. I know you're saying it's not the law. Yeah. Just Are we have a, you took an oath to the United States right. Constitution to uphold the Constitution. Right. Did you, sir? Yeah, I did. I know you did. So, <laughs> okay, so the First Amendment of the United yeah. States is we have freedom of press. You have a shocking misunderstanding of what freedom of the press is. It does not mean you have the right to go anywhere you want. It does not mean you have the right to go into a limited access public forum or a non-accessible public forum like a courthouse and start filming. What it means is you have the right to publish a story without government interference. I'm just, I'm not in a courtroom. Judges have control over the courtroom, and some, this is where you pay your tickets. This is, this is nowhere near a courtroom. Yeah, this is not a court, this is not a courthouse building. This is the Denison building. This is controlled by the county. I don't need their permission, though. That, my, my thing is that I don't need their, I get, I, I see what you're saying, but I don't need their permission. That's the whole point, really, to be honest. I'm not in any room. I'm not breaking any laws. I, I don't want to cause a disturbance. I'm not going to. I don't know what else there is to really talk about. That's that's not my goal here. Do you have a supervisor I can speak to, maybe? Or I don't have a supervisor here. No, I don't. Can you call a supervisor? Are you stationed here in this building? For the day, I am. That's about it. Oh, okay. Can you call a supervisor? You got to speak with PD about that. They run it. They run what? They run this building. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not PD. I'm not local police department. All right, so, I mean, why, then what, what are we talking for? I just, you, what, I, I, I want to talk to somebody. I'm to come over here. You're not allowed to record in here. That's I mean, here. I'm not breaking the law. You said it yourself. That. I'm not saying you broke the law. <laughs> I'm not saying you broke the law. I'm not saying you did anything. So, I guess I'm just going to go about my business then. I'm not breaking the law. Unfortunately, in this case, they let the precious little snowflake go because they know he's just a non-threatening individual. You win some, you lose some. But at least he got a good education and reading comprehension from the guard.